Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of KYC, Know Your Crypto. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about three altcoins that I am classifying as hidden gems because these projects have great fundamentals. As always, any content on this channel is not financial advice. Please continue to do your own research. Thanks for tuning back into KYC. If you like the content on this channel, please remember to like the video and subscribe. Now before we begin, I'd like to clarify what I consider a hidden gem. To me, a hidden gem isn't necessarily a brand new project. It can be a project, as I said earlier, that has great fundamentals. And in this case, it's a gem because it hasn't pumped yet. We are in early February and a number of coins have seen two X's to even 100 X's. However, the three coins that we're going to be looking at have not seen a significant pump over the last few months. The first coin I would like to discuss with you is SpiderDAO, which goes by the ticker as seen on the screen, SPDR. So this is the SpiderDAO one pager, which is straight from the SpiderDAO website, spiderdao.io. SpiderDAO is a next generation hardware based DAO governance model that aims to bring a new standard of fairness to existing DAO frameworks. So the challenge, traditional DAO models are subject to attack and takeover by plutocracies controlled by wealthy whales. He who controls the votes controls the DAO. So I'm going to take a quick pause for a second for those who are unfamiliar with the term plutocracy. And as highlighted over here, I like this definition, an elite or ruling class of people whose power derives from wealth. And of course, when we think of this, we think of whales. And so for those, again, who might be unfamiliar with the term whale, a whale is any individual or company who has enough money and power to directly influence the price of a cryptocurrency or stock, usually in a negative way. Think of a whale and their large mass. They can make huge splashes and the same concept can be applied to crypto slash financial markets. So SpiderDAO's solution to solve the whale problem is essentially by introducing a dual governance model that bundles hardware and software tools with on-chain elements. This means that individuals who want to be a part of the SpiderDAO ecosystem and decision making can do so by buying a SpiderConnect router, holding SPDR tokens, and creating a user ID. This will give a DAO vote. And we'll have another brief pause just to explain what a DAO or Decentralized Autonomous Organization is. So a DAO, sometimes labeled a DAC, is an organization representing by rules encoded as a computer program that is transparent, controlled by the organization's members, and not influenced by a central government. Now, I'm just going to scroll back up here on the SpiderDAO one pager to quote Vitalik Buterin, who, as we know, is one of the co creators of Ethereum. Uh, Vitalik says, I criticize DAOs because I love them. On change algorithms open to vote probing. Plutocracy gives me heartburn. So essentially what Vitalik is saying here is that while he does like DAOs, he criticizes them because they can still be manipulated by whales. The tokenomics of SpiderDAO here are on the right. Um, now, if we scroll down to the hardware utility, we get a brief description on what the SpiderDAO router is. And so it is a best-in-class router that serves multiple roles as a high-speed VPN tunnel, a DAO voting ticket, and a node in a fully autonomous decentralized VPN which webs the spider ecosystems together, offering access to the spider dashboard with a multitude of features leveraging the Polkadot parachain. This is a screenshot of the spider DAO dashboard. As you can see in this example, um, this individual has over 2400 SPDR tokens and they are also staking and earning rewards through the dashboard. Here's a look at the SpiderDAO roadmap. Now, of course, we are still in Q1 of 2021. The token has been launched and the routers have been distributed, um, but coming up over uh, the course of the next few quarters this year, there's gonna be iOS community beta, um, hardware features, including DPI, 
uh, DAO dashboard releases and bridge ERC20 tokens to Polkadot. As of the time of this recording, SpiderDAO is trading at just over three cents. Now here's a look at the SPDR chart. As you can see, when the token launched in the middle of December, it was trading at around 10 cents. And since then it's sort of plummeted down and it seems to have found a bottom in the middle of January actually at around uh, 1.9 to 2 cents. And since then it's really only um, found a, a recent local high of around 4 cents. And so if we're trading here at under 4 cents, I do think that SpiderDAO has a lot of room to grow and that's one of the reasons why it is certainly a hidden gem on my list. The second coin on my list is Udo, which is a project called Hyper. The Howdo blockchain is completely decentralized and they will be creating social media apps, which they call our apps of the future. And the first one is Hyper. So at first glance of the user interface of Hyper, it reminds me a lot of part Instagram, part TikTok, and perhaps even part Tumblr as well. Content creators can essentially post YouTube style videos. So longer videos of say 10 minutes or longer. They can post Instagram type photos or they can post TikTok type videos, which are roughly videos that can be anywhere from 10 seconds to one minute. Now, before we talk about Hyper in a little bit more detail, I do just want to mention that my last video, which is titled Top 2021 Altcoins, I do cover a coin called carbon and essentially carbon is a project that really takes the essence and atmosphere of crypto twitter and it brings that to a hub itself now some people might look at carbon and hyper as competitors i do not it's sort of like saying facebook is a competitor to instagram even forgetting for a moment that Facebook owns Instagram, I see them as two separate platforms that achieve different things and give the users a different experience within each platform. So back to Hyper now. Um, now this page, your content, your business, your way. Uh, how do or Hyper is the answer to all of the problems faced by content creators and influencers like you on existing social media. So no more dealing with a zillion different platforms to post different types of content. No more losing big chunks of your income to someone else. No more having your business model dictated by platforms and advertisers. On how do you can stream, message, post, blog, and share images and videos on a feature-rich platform where you're in total control, essentially because it is decentralized. Whether you want to set up subscriptions, put paywalls on individual pieces of content, or focus on income from likes and shares, you can monetize in whatever way suits you. And this is where the Udo token finds its utility. It is used for every financial transaction on Howdo. Today, the Udo token is trading at just over six cents. And if we take a look at the chart, we can see that Udo has had quite a journey pumping to all time highs back in 2019 to around 12 cents. This was after a how to soft launch and after dumping down, it pumped again last summer in 2020 when the platform officially rebranded to Hyper. However, the rebrand was another soft launch and there wasn't much hype around the project, no pun intended. But with the recent actions of centralized platforms like Facebook and Twitter, coupled with the launch of staking for the Udo token, I believe Hyper is a hidden gem and will see a very good pump soon. The tokenomics of Hyper are also interesting as it is a deflationary coin. And staking is also now live. Who doesn't love staking? There's an opportunity to earn 18% APR and compound or withdraw with no lockup and 2% total fees go to burning the Udo token as mentioned a moment ago. The third hidden gem on my list before we get into some bonus coins is DOS or DOS Network. Now DOS is an oracle and for those of you who are unfamiliar with what an oracle is, I did a video specifically on Chainlink which is the top oracle in crypto with the largest market cap. It is titled Moonshot Chainlink. Uh, in this video, I do discuss Chainlink quite a bit, but I also do explain what oracles are if you're interested in checking that one out. DOS Network is a decentralized oracle service network to boost blockchain usability with real-world data and computation. This, of course, is coming straight from the official DOS Network website. 
it explains what the Oracle problem is and how the DOS network proposes to solve this. As we can see here and explained previously, oracles do many different things to bring off-chain data on a blockchain. As of the time of this recording, DOS is taking quite a big hit, going down 21%, which is actually quite typical for altcoins. But when we look at the chart here, we can see that DOS is nowhere near its all-time high. Back in the summer of DeFi, it sort of topped out just under 40 cents and we've come nowhere close to its all-time high ever since that point. As we take a look at our Oracle list here on CoinGecko, we can see that clearly Chainlink is still dominating here with the largest market cap of over 10 billion. UMA, Ben Protocol, Augur, API3, which I'm also very bullish on, Nest Protocol, I also have a very large bag of Teller because I do believe in their technology as well as Dia. And if we keep scrolling down here, we finally find DOS. And this is exactly what I want to emphasize here. DOS's market cap as of today, February 6th, is only 11.7 million. It has got a lot of room to grow. And if we see an Oracle season that I am predicting, I think oracles will do anywhere from 10 to 100 X's. And so even if DOS only sees a 10 X, that's just a $100 million market cap. I do think that a project like DOS, maybe not this bull cycle, but next bull cycle could be a billion dollar market cap. And a billion dollar market cap with DOS would mean that the coin would be worth roughly around $8 as it is worth eight cents today. All right, so my two bonus coins are Binance Coin BNB and Cardano ADA. First, Binance BNB, just over the last two weeks alone, it has gone up 78%. Even though we are currently at all time highs for BMB, it is a deflationary coin and it must be noted that this coin will continue to go up in value. Cardano, which has been parabolic the last couple of days particularly, has been on an absolute tear. In the last 30 days, it's up over 100%, 14 days, 85%. And even in the last 24 hours, it's up over 15%. I covered Cardano in my top 2021 altcoins video, which I published just four days ago. And at the time of that recording, Cardano was trading after a 20% pump at 41 and a half cents. Cardano's all-time high was reached in early January of 2018, which is about three years ago. And that was at $1.18. And even with the recent parabolic pump of Cardano, it is still around 50% away from its all-time high. Cardano is going to the moon. All right, everyone, that's the video. Drop a comment below and let me know if you agree with my picks today and if you think that they are in fact hidden gems. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.